Hi everyone, Orlika Baker here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use a baking scale. You can get a baking scale for as cheap as $15. This one was about 25. And trust me, it will make your baking experiences so much easier. Now, I'll show you why baking with a baking scale is much more precise and also more fun than baking with a measuring cup. Let's start with our baking scale. We're gonna load an empty bowl onto the scale and turn the scale on. Now the recipe that I'm making today with Tuscany blend is for a pizza crust. This recipe calls for 230 grams of Tuscany blend. Grams is a measurement, and since I was trained in Australia and Paris, I learned how to bake with grams. So we are gonna pour and measure 230 grams of Tuscany blend right into the bowl. Now you can see as I pour, the scale shows me how many grams I'm pouring. We said 230 grams. This is 239, so I'm just gonna take a little bit out. And voila, I have exactly 230 grams in this bowl. So now I'm doing the same thing, but I'm using a measuring cup. The, re the recipe calls for one and a half cups of Tuscany blend. So right now, I'm scaling off one and a half cups. We're gonna weigh the one and a half cups and see if it equals the 230 grams that we weighed previously. Now my scale shows 248 grams. You can see that using a baking scale is much more precise than using the cups. Now, another great thing about using a baking scale is that there's less cleanup at the end of the day. If you're using a measuring cup, you have to continuously weigh your flour in the measuring cup, your eggs in the measuring cup, or you'll end up using four, five, six measuring cups. When you're using a baking scale, you just put the products directly into your bowl and weigh it. And you can use the same bowl for your dries and a different bowl for your wets. And at the end, you're only cleaning two things. And that's why I like to use baking scales. 